Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel and we're going to bring you some Pro Strategy Football 2021 and it is once again a 1958 Baltimore Colts Johnny Unitas special as the Colts of 1958 NFL champions at 9-3 and three take on the team of the 70s. The Steelers, they won four Super Bowls in the 70s and it will be the 1978 Men of Steel, who were 14-2, and two, to do battle with Johnny U. So it's crew cut and high top cleats taking on the steel curtain. It's Johnny Unitas and the 58 Colts versus Terry, Franco, Rocky, Stallworth, Swan, and that tremendous defense and those terrible yellow towels. Are you ready for some football? Because it's time for kickoff. This is Pro Strategy Football 2021. If you're interested in the game, it can be purchased on Steam, Link, and all the seasons are free from the mod community, Link provided in the chat. So let's get a point spread as we will analyze the game. I'll be playing as the 58 Colts, as you know, my beloved Johnny Unitas. Let's sim it a thousand times to get a point spread. And Pittsburgh by one. It's a 50-50 game here. Wow. So this is a toss-up. Pittsburgh is favored by one. Let's go to the Steelers. Run blocking, pass blocking, nines. Red zone offense, excellent at an eight. Team discipline, very good at a seven. Ball security, two-minute offense, both eights, outstanding. This game is being played at a neutral field, so it really doesn't matter, but they're eight and eight, home or away. Run defense, pass defense, nines. Red zone defense, a nine. Pass rush is an eight. That's why it was called the steel curtain. Defensive stamina, and preventing the big play from an opponent and controlling the opponent, both nines. It will be an uphill battle for Johnny Unitas and the 58 Colts. Pittsburgh favors a heavy run. Well, not heavy. They like to run, and they'll throw the ball over the top, and they will run predominantly with Franco Harris, mixing in Rocky Blyer. Two great receivers, Swan and Stallworth. The tight ends aren't bad at all. Pittsburgh plays a 4-3. They'll bounce between man and zone and will blitz on occasions. Offensive line for the Steelers. Kolb, Davis, Webster, Mullins, Penny, and the extra offensive lineman is Brown. For the Baltimore Colts, Parker, Spiney, Nutter, Sandusky, Prees, and Samansky is the extra offensive lineman. The Colts offense, Johnny Unitas at quarterback, Dupree and Allen Amici are the running backs. Amici won the Heisman Trophy out of Wisconsin. Raymond Berry, Jim Mushler, Jack Call, and Burt Richichar are your receivers. Starters are Berry and Mushler. Lenny Lyles, the starting tight end. Billy Pricer, the backup, and you'll see a heavy dose of Lenny Moore. For the Steelers, Terry Bradshaw's under center. Blyer and Harris, your backs. Swan and Stallworth, your starting receivers. Randy Grossman, the starting tight end. Smith and Theo Bell will also get some playing time if they go to more than a two-wide receiver set. And Benny Cunningham is the backup tight end for the 78 Steelers. The defensive line for the Steel Curtain, Greenwood, Mean Joe Green, Banizak, Dwight White, and the extra lineman, Gary Dunn. For the Baltimore Colts, there are no slouches on their defensive line. Marchetti, Donovan, Lipskin, and Joyce. And Brassy is the extra defensive lineman. Colts, linebackers, and defensive backs. Pellington, Shinnick, Mara, 
and Sanford are your linebackers. Defensive backs, Tassif, Nelson, Brown, and Davis. Nickelback, DiCarlo, Lenny Lyles is the dime back. For the Steelers, Ham, Lambert, Cole, Towles, your linebackers. Defensive backs, Johnson, Wagner, Shell, and Blount. Blunt, excuse me. Dungy's the nickelback. Anderson is the dime back. Steelers kicker, Roy Girella, Girella's Girella's, and Craig Colquitt is the punter. For the Baltimore Colts, Myra is the kicker, and Ray Brown is the punter. Again, we'll be playing as the 1958 Colts. The Pro Strategy Football Sim 2021 Sim Engine. The 78 Steelers. As they say in Pro Strategy Football, let's do this. Joining us here for this big game, Uncle Dave Gardner. Hope all is well. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel, Dave Gardner, playing a lot of Pro Solitaire Football card and dice with the excel helper it's absolutely awesome to watch and listen to dave's having just a great time i don't know if he's enjoying that game more app of hockey but it's good to see our good friend dave gardner enjoying his sports sims as always um and also remember to check out digital to dice on spreaker or wherever fine podcasts can be listened to as it's dave gardner and ron juckett for all your sports sim game needs and conversations, digital, digital dice makes every day very, very nice. Captain Carl Eight has joined us. Hope all is well. As he says, "Hi, Al. Just got here after watching the Triple H Chris Adams match. That was a smackdown. That was a smackdown. Thank you for joining us, Captain Carl. All right, we'll be playing as the Colts. Colts uh, are one point underdogs." It's a 50-50. We simmed it a thousand times to get the point spread. And it was a 50-50 game. And we will play on expert. Pittsburgh won the toss. They will receive. We're going to kick deep. Here's the kickoff by the Colts. From the five comes the Steelers. And that's Maxson. Takes it to the 31, 24-yard return. So Pittsburgh's going to start first and 10 at their 31. Bradshaw under center. Split backs of Blyer and Harris. Stallworth and Swan are your wideouts. Grossman's a tight end. We're going to go 4-3. We're going to play the run. And we're going to key Franco on first down. And we're not playing two deep zone. We're playing man-to-man. 4-3, man-to-man, Keen Franco-Harris. Brad shot a throw. He hits Grossman on a quick out. But the Colts react well. Knock him out of bounds. Only a two-yard gain. Second and eight. Second and eight. We're going to key Franco Harris again on the run. 4-3 man. Brad shot a throw again. And he hits Stallworth. Stallworth racing down the sideline. Picks up 23 as the Steelers encroach on Colt territory. That's a Gain of 23. Bradshaw to Stallworth. Davis makes the tackle. So the Steelers come out throwing the ball. Colts, we're, we're, we're concentrating on the run, and we're going to keep Franco again on first and 10. And it's a give to Harris. And Harris, what a move. And the big back out of Penn State accelerates for 12. Shinnick holds on for dear life as the Steelers... Are marching down the field. First and 10 for Pittsburgh at the Baltimore 32. Harris goes out to take a breather. Smith comes in. He'll be the slot receiver. Blyer, the lone setback. Colts will counter with a nickel, so DiCarlo will be on Smith. And we're going to play the run. And we might as well key Rocky Blyer. We're going to key the run. Nickel man coverage. It's a pitch to Blyer. Blyer gets around the corner. He's close to the first down. Picks up nine. The man out of Notre Dame, the Vietnam veteran. 
What a run by Rocky Blyer. A quick move, a juke, and then to the outside for nine. Second and one. Harris back in the game. Smith goes off the field. 4-3 on second and one. Man coverage for the Colts. We're going to play the run. We're not going to key anyone. It will be an all-out linebacker run blitz. Pittsburgh really calling a good game right now. Second and one. Ball at the 23 of the Colts. And Harris is smothered under. It is a loss of one. Marchetti, Limpskin, Joyce, and then Pelling Pellington all meet at Franco Harris. Pellington will be credited with the tackle. Third and two. That was an all-out run blitz by the 58 Colts. Third and two. Bradshaw brings the Steelers to the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. Harrison Blyer, Swan and Stallworth. The usual suspects out wide. And Grossman's the tight end. Third and two. We're going to key the run again, and it's going to be an all-out linebacker run blitz. Third and two, four-three man coverage. And Harris will not get there! Harris is swarmed under. He struggled, got stood up at the line of scrimmage, and Big Daddy Lipskin will not let him go any further. No gain, so the Colt defense holds. Fourth and two, and Roy Jarella will come out to kick. We're going to watch for the fake on fourth and two. Jarella to kick. The snap. Oh, it's a fake! We're watching for the fake! Incomplete! Oh! The backup quarterback, Kruzek, looking for the backup tight end, Benny Cunningham, but the Colts were playing for the fake. Just getting... I don't know who it was, but he just got his fingertips on that pass to Cunningham. And it wobbled away from the tight end for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's promising drive ends with no points as the razzle-dazzle does not work. So Pittsburgh didn't want the three points. They wanted the kill shot. And it backfired. So Johnny Unitas and the Colts take over first and ten at their 24. Dupree and Amici, the splitbacks. Lyles, the tight end. Mushler and Barry, the wideouts. Play action fake. Mushler, deep corner will be the primary. Dupree and Amici will stay in the block. And so will Lyles. And let's just show a 4-3 here. So on the first play, Unitas wants to go over the top. Play action fake. Unitas has time. Throws to Mushler. Incomplete. Tight coverage by Mel Blount. Blunt, excuse me. On Mushler. Our good friend Sports Time Machine has joined us. Hello, Mr. Utah Mike. Check out that wonderful channel in our wonderful community. Also, after further review with Steve Tower, another fun, fun channel. Lots of good stuff there. Tremendous card and dice channel. He has a really cool camera setup. He must have two cameras, I would assume, or more. So you, you, can, you can watch Steve. And I try to get... Watch his channel. I'll try to watch everyone's channel as much as possible. <laughs> and uh, then you can see the board game he's playing. And it's, he does a lot of History Maker games. Um, and also he did Legends of Boxing tonight, which is a good game. I have not played it. I, I hear a PC version of it's coming out, and I will pick that up, as I love my boxing games. But I'm a Glory Days boxing guy. A lot of good games out there. Play the games you like. Um, but he's playing uh, fictional I'm going to check that out. i got to catch up on a few of those. A fictional fighter, but you can go through career mode. So that's cool stuff. So, again, check out. Oh, Dave Little has joined us, another fun content creator in our community. So check out Dave Little, Sports Time Machine, after further review with Steve Tower. And, of course, 
Dave Gardner, and many, many other fine content creators. So we tried to go over the top on that one. Didn't work. So it's second and ten. Second and ten. Dupree will go out. And we're going to bring in Lenny Moore out of Penn State. We're going to go screen to Lenny Moore on second and ten. Hopefully we catch him in a blitz. Come on, Lenny. Come on, Lenny. Lenny gets about the 30. Knocked out of bounds. Seven-yard gain. They were playing a two-deep zone. You do a very... You do a very... You do an excellent job, Steve. It's fun to watch. Like I say, I try to get to everyone's channel when I can. I enjoy... The content creators that I follow on YouTube more than more than TV because you guys have fun and I like watching people have fun so oh wow Dave Little said no hitter for the Reds tonight excellent 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 and we'll get back to the football game in a second I, I just I I had my second COVID shot and I'm getting really groggy <laughs> um not that you guys care about that. But anyway, uh, after further review with Steve Tower, yeah, the career campaign guide expansion makes Legends of Boxing a whole new experience. Yeah, it's fun. I'm not big into fictional stuff, but I do enjoy that. Ugh. All right. Shake the cobwebs out, Al. We got a game to play. <laughs> Third and three. Third and three, what will it be? Well, we're going to put Barry in motion. Nine seven seven seven. Our left tackle and left guard. Eight. Nine. We're not running right. We're not going to run right. So we're going to go counter left. Inside run, counter left, Alan Amici. And let's flip that this way. So Amici, Barry will go motion right. We're going, Amici will take a step to his right and come back to his left. Counter left, Alan Amici on third and three. Man coverage for the steel curtain. Amici is smothered under. Oh boy, that was a blitz. And it, it was a pass rush turned into a run blitz. That's a one-yard loss as Dwight White wraps up the Heisman Trophy winner out of Wisconsin. It'll be fourth and four. Dave Little says, Wade Miley threw the no-hitter. Awesome stuff. I agree. Fun is the name of the game. Otherwise, why play? Fourth and four. We will punt. And it will be Ray Brown to do the punting. Let's see if the Steelers hit the kicker. Nope. We get the punt off. From the 30 comes Bell to the, about the 35. It'll be first and 10 for Pittsburgh. At their 35. Bradshaw under center. Harris the up back. Blyer behind him. Swan and Stallworth, your wideouts. Grossman's the tight end. We're going to go 4 3. And we're going to go run blitz. Man run coverage. Linebackers run blitz. And Harris nailed at the line of scrimmage. Not even Franco's Italian Mar Italian American Army could help him there. Nelson is credited with the tackle on Franco Harris, also a Penn State grad. Jackson seven one one two four seven. Hope all is well. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I got my second shot. My arm doesn't hurt like the first time, you know, but I feel groggy i don't know if that's the right terminology it's weird i feel weird like lo not loopy well i'm always loopy i guess oh yeah free peppy Le Pew. what the hell do you ever do to anybody but make you laugh i f like a little I, I guess groggy is the right word hey if it's only groggy that'd be better than the first shot so but, yep, got my second vaccination shot. I recommend it to people. Don't be afraid, especially if it's Pfizer. All right, second and 10 for Pittsburgh at their 35. Harris goes off the field. Smith comes into the slot. So we're going to play nickel. 
So DeCarlo's on Smith. Blyer the lone setback. Second and 10. We're going to play our defensive line in tight. We're going to play man pass, linebackers, and safety to read and react. Second and 10. Bradshaw to throw. Over the middle. Incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Grossman. Good coverage. Brown in coverage along with the linebacker. As they clog up those passing lanes. Third and ten. Bradshaw and shotgun. Blyer next to him. Smith and Stallworth to one side. Swan to the other. We'll stick with the nickel. And we're going to stunt up front with Marchetti, Joyce, Lipskin, and Donovan. Linebackers to read and react. Man coverage. Safety to roam. Shotgun snap. It's a sweep to Blyer. He gains the corner, but he will not make the first down. Oh, boy. Big Daddy Lipskin never gave up on the play, and he just continued to pursue Rocky Blyer, and he tackles him two yards short of the first. ID Gestures joined us. Hope all is well. Check out that wonderful channel. Another marvelous content creator in our community. ID played, a, I believe, a live... I had a go, because go for my walk with my lovely Bella, Nurse Teresa. But I believe he played a live APA game with... Uh, oh, God. Why do I go brain dead when it comes to names? I can see him. He's a big APA guy. Thibault. Dave Gardner knows his name. Someone please put it in the chat, and I apologize, because I forget names. So Cole quit to punt, and we're just going to hit watch for the fake because every time I don't do that, I usually sometimes hit the kicker. So we're going to play for the fake. I don't think they're going to fake. Cole quit gets the punt off. He's going to try to pin the 58 Colts back deep. From the 15 comes Richard Chard. Great coverage by the 78 Steelers. Only a two-yard return on the 39-yard punt. Tebow, that's it. Thank you very much. Another wonderful friend of the community. So first and 10 for Baltimore at their 20. No score, 8.32 to play in the first quarter. 1978 Steelers, who were 14-2, and two, taking on the 1958 Colts, who were 9-3. and three. Steelers won the Super Bowl. Colts won the NFL championship. Thibault. Thank you, Captain Carly. All right, let's bring Dupree back in the game. Counter left with Dupree on first and ten. So Barry goes motion right. We're countering left. Zone coverage. Zone coverage. And Dupree's going to have some running room. Follows his blocks. First down and more. And he almost busted that for a long, long way. Wagner making a hell of a tackle. Dupree goes for 17. If he got by Wagner, there was a lot of green grass in front of him. Ball spotted at the Baltimore 37. Rinse and repeat. repeat. Dupree again on counter left. Man coverage for the Steelers. It's a blitz. Dupree again gains the corner as he bounced to the outside. He picks up eight. Jack Ham on the tackle. Jack Ham, I believe he was a Penn State grad. Lots of Penn State grads in this game. So, second and two. Hey, diddle, diddle. Alan Amici on a trap play. Up the middle on second and two. Barry to go in motion. Zone coverage. The trap to Amici. Amici pounds his way forward. Picks up three. The angry, toothless one, Jack Lambert out of Kent State. K-E-N-T. On the tackle. Ball at the Baltimore 48, first and 10. Steelers, excellent stamina on defense. Lenny Moore will come into the game. So it's Amici and Moore in the backfield.
Medium pass, play action, fake. We're going to look for Lyles on a sideline pattern. Amici and Moore will stay in the block. Barry will go in motion. And he'll run across. And we're going to try to occupy a linebacker and a safety. You know what? Maybe we will... You know, let's let Lenny Moore. I think he's going to run a hook. He's going to run a hook. I'll occupy that side. Play action fake. We're hoping to get Lyles to the sideline and hit him in stride. First and 10 at the Baltimore 48. Zone coverage for the Steelers. United is back to the pass. He's under duress. He scrambles and he is brought down. A huge loss for the Colts. A 12-yard loss on the sack by Cole as the pressure gets through. That's going to make it second and long. It's going to be second and 22. Unitas just did not have time. As Steve Towers says, Dupree having his way tonight. Maybe we should just kept the ball on the ground. <laughs> Second and 22. We're going to go shotgun. And if you know me, I'm actually not going to throw out of the shotgun. We're going to run a draw with Lenny Moore. Because they're expecting pass. Again, Barry goes in motion. I hope we have some... Nope, zone coverage. And Lenny Moore has a little bit of room. A quick little move. Picked up two extra yards. It's a gain of six. A nice move by Lenny Moore. Banizak on the tackle. RF has joined us here at the field. Hope all is well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to RF, Captain Carl 8. After further review with Steve Tower, Dave Gardner, ID Gesture, Dave Little, Sports Time Machine, Jackson 711247. My dyslexia didn't F me up there. I think I got those numbers right. And I got them all. Okay, good. So it's going to be 3rd and 16. Again, Unitas will be in shotgun. And again, we will run the draw with Lenny Moore. Play it safe. Zone coverage. Come on, Lenny. Pop, Lenny. Come on, Lenny. Come on, Lenny. Zigging and zagging. Takes it to midfield. Picks up 8. Lambert on pursuit. Makes the tackle. 4th and 8. We're going to punt. And we're going to punt towards the sideline. So Brown will try to pin the Steelers back. It's been a defensive slobber knocker so far. 5-0-1 left in the first quarter. We're scoreless. And that is a crap punt. Oh, my God. Brown shanks it off the side of his foot. It is an eight-yard punt. Pittsburgh is going to start, op start off in marvelous field position. First and 10 at their 42. Good God, do I want to watch that over? I might as well. That was horrible. He shanks it off the side of his foot. Well, he got the sideline all right, just really short. So Pittsburgh first and 10 at their 42. Split backfield, Harris and Blyer. Stallworth and Swan out wide. Grossman, the tight end to the left. Bradshaw under center. We're going to play 4-3 man coverage. And we're going to play pass on first down. Linebackers to read and react. First and 10 playing pass. Bradshaw gives it to Harris. Harris to the left. A big move and he crosses midfield. 14 yards for Franco Harris. Finally dragged down by Davis. Harris having a pretty good game. Staggered backfield now. Harris right behind Bradshaw. Blyer to the left. We're going to go 4-3. We're going to play the run. It's going to be a run blitz. If they pass, it will then turn into a pass rushing blitz. Man run coverage, 4-3. First down for Pittsburgh. It's a throw! Bradshaw evades the rush, and he hits Franco Harris, his safety valve. And Harris picks up six. Brown on the tackle. Unfreaking believable Here's the replay in slow motion. Bradshaw, quite nimble and agile, avoids the pass rush. We had two rushers coming in at him. And he's able to dump it to Franco. Second and four. 
Pittsburgh has it at the Baltimore 38. 4-3, man run, linebacker, run blitz. It's a pitch to Harris, and he's close. He will not get there, though. Harris evades the rush as he makes two quick cuts, one to the middle, then one a little bit to the bounce to the outside. He picks up three, third and one, 339 and counting in a scoreless first quarter. Blood, sweat, and snot so far. Split backfield, third and one. It will be a run blitz once again. 4-3 man coverage. Here come the Colts. And Bradshaw is crushed in that pocket. Sanford, less the sun, will get TB12 Terry Bradshaw. What a huge play by the Colts defense as the run Blitz turned into kill the quarterback, and they sure did. Here's the replay in painful slow motion to Steeler fans. Booyah! They got his ass. That will force a Pittsburgh punt, and here comes Colquitt to do the punting again. We're going to watch for the fake because we do not want to hit the punter. The Colts seem to like to kibosh the punter. Cole quit to punt. He gets the punt off, and it's a much better punt than Brown's punt. Oh, and that's going to bounce out inside the five. That's one hell of a punt by Cole quit. So Johnny Unitas and the Colts, O oh, will start in the shadow of their end zone. First and ten at their two. Colts go two tight end set with Pricer and Lyles. Barry the lone wide out. Amici is the up back. We don't even know who I I want to say. Well, Dupree will come in. Hey, diddle, diddle. Dupree up the middle. Amici to lead the way. Two tight end set. Man coverage. Dupree. And he... Oh, did he get out of the end zone? No! Dupree does not... Oh, shoot. We had the draw. God damn it. Oh, Al Red Sox fan. We wanted the dive play. A delayed handoff to Dupree, and Pittsburgh scores the first points of the game. It is a safety as the Steelers defenders put their hands over their helmets in triangle formation, and it's two points for Pittsburgh as I called a draw by accident, but that's what happens. Had it worked, I would have looked brilliant. I wanted a dive play just to get the ball away from the end zone. Here's the replay in slow motion. Man coverage, and the steel curtain puts up the first two points of the game. Well, that was close, but he didn't get out of the end zone. 2 nothing Pittsburgh. Myra to kick after the safety. Holy cow, folks. From the 19 comes Anderson down the sideline. 40. 45, and Myra, the last man standing, makes the tackle. And Pittsburgh will have great field position. Joining us here at the football game, Dale Buckingham. Great defensive struggle in this first quarter. As the defensive struggle continues, we hope. 2 nothing. We've got a pitcher's duel here. 2.07 left. We're going to go 4-3 run blitz. Man coverage. And Franco Harris with a big move. Stiffed-armed one would-be tackler picks up seven. Finally, clip uh, knocked down by Nelson by the ankles. He went low. Second and three for the Steelers at the Baltimore 46. Grossman at tight end to the left. Swan and Stallworth out wide. Bradshaw under center. Harrison Blyer, your spit, spit backs. Split backs. Speak of the English, Al. I think they're going play action fake. We're going to play pass. Linebackers and safety to read and react. 4-3 pass. Man. It's a run to Harris. And he didn't get there. Good reaction by the linebackers. Quickly closing on Franco. Gain of two will be third and one. Joyce following the play is credited with the tackle. 
So a big third and one here at the Baltimore 44. Under two minutes to play in the first quarter. 2-0 Pittsburgh on the safety of Dupree. Third and one. I almost want to go short yardage run defense, but they go over the top. We got seven on eight, nine on eight out wide. Grossman's a six. We have a set. Pellington's on him. Actually, no. Brown's on him. Third and one. Third and one. Okay. Defensive line in tight. Linebackers to blitz. We're playing the run. 4-3 man run blitz. Defensive line in tight. Third and one. Bradshaw to Harris and we got him in the backfield. One yard loss as again the front seven of the Colts spelled doomsday on third and short. Harris had no place to go. There was no gap, no hole, and the only place Franco could go was down. So the Colts hold again. Cole quit to punt. We're going to watch for the fake. They've already tried a fake field goal. Cole, don't hit the kicker. Cole quick gets a punt off, and we don't murder the kicker, thank God. And it goes in the end zone. Woo! 51-yard punt, but it bounces into the end zone. D. Scott Howard, who are you people, and why are you following me? Our good friend D. Scott Howard. D. Scott Howard's a goat whisperer. We love D. Scott. We got to get D. Scott and Ken Castro in a tag team match to defend their titles against the Road Warriors. Yeah, I like that. Fire Pro Wrestling. I like that. I got to start making wrestlers of the community again. Here we go. Down by two. 18 seconds left in the first quarter. 2 nothing Pittsburgh on a blast by Willie Stargell. Oh, wait. That's the wrong sport. All right. Let's not run a draw. Let's go hey diddle diddle. Dupree up the middle. Two tight end set for the Colts on first and ten. Zone coverage and Dupree. Well, it looked like it was going to be better than that. Three-yard gain. Jack Lambert on the tackle. And that will end the first quarter. I don't think we'll get this playoff. So after 15 minutes of football, it is 2-0 Pittsburgh. We go to our station identification break. You're watching and listening to on the Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. To Pro Strategy Football 2021, the 1958 Colts, led by Johnny Unitas, taking on the 1978 Steelers, led by Terry Bradshaw. I notice I didn't put Pittsburgh up there. Nuts. We'll fix that later. If you're enjoying the stream, as with any of our other wonderful content creators, always make sure to smack that like button for them, because they work hard to bring you entertainment. If you haven't subscribed, please do so if you want. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when we go live to jump in and have some fun. Because we go live, 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 and we have fun, fun, fun. And now for our public service announcement. Free Pepe Le Pew. He never did anything to you but made you laugh. Back to the ball game. Second and seven. From the Baltimore 23, second and seven. We're going to go long pass, play action, fake. We're going to look for the tight end, Lyles, on a deep corner route. Amici, Dupree, Pricer. We're all staying in the block. Bear, excuse me, Barry's going to go in motion and run a fly pattern. So we're looking for Lyles on a deep corner. Unitas with time. He's going to throw deep the other way to Barry. Incomplete. Breaking up the play was Johnson. And they were in a three-deep zone playing pass. Good call. So Johnson comes over to help out. As Jim L. says, free Pepe. Absolutely. 
That's, it's a cartoon character, folks. Yeah, it's a cartoon character. He doesn't make people do stupid things. Stupid people do stupid things. There's lots of stupid people in the world. On all sides of everywhere. <laughs> wow. So we were going against a three deep zone. Third and seven. It's third and seven. We're going to stick with the two tight end set here. They won't play up. We're banking that they'll play a 3-4, some sort of zone. Delayed handoff to Alan Amici, the fullback, on third and seven. Man coverage. They're playing about a 3-4. Amici, not much room, bounces to the outside. He'll get a positive three, but that's not enough. L.C. Greenwood... And his yellow cleats on the tackle. It'll be fourth and four. And that will force the Colts to punt once again. And it's Brown to do the punting. Please don't shank it off your foot. Brown gets the punt off much better than the last one, which was eight yards. From the 30 comes Bell. Takes it to the 35. 42-yard punt. Four-yard return. Pittsburgh starts first and 10 at their 36. The defensive slobber knocker continues. Harrison Blyer, your split backs. Bradshaw under center. Swan and Stallworth out wide. Grossman, the tight end to the left. We're in a 4 3. Man. You know what? Let's do this. Two deep zone uh, run. Two deep zone, 4 3, looking for the run. Bradshaw pitches to Harris. He gains the corner, but not much. Knocked out of bounds after a two-yard gain. Sports Time Machine, and I, I, I thumbs up this comment. LOL. Put Pepe in Space Jam 2. Bring back MJ. Replace the A-hole LeBron. I'm in total agreement there. Captain China there. LeBron. Anyway, that's a good one. Whether people agree or not, I agree with that. And everyone can have their own free mind. That's what's wonderful about our country. So second and eight, will they run again? Usual suspects on the field, except Grossman's to the right this time. I'm, I don't like playing a lot of zone. Against good teams. We're going to play 4-3 man. Pass. Blyer's a 5. You could dump it to Blyer. If we blitz Pellington. Blyer. Linebackers and safety to read and react. 4-3 man pass coverage. It's a screen. Incomplete. Incomplete. Good job if we blitz. That. And they were going to Blyer. I had a feeling. I had a feeling they were going to go to Blyer. That's why I didn't want to blitz. So third and eight. Now Bradshaw's in shotgun. Swan goes off the field. Smith comes on the field. So Smith and Stallworth to the left. Swan to the right. Grossman's at tight end. Bradshaw in shotgun. Blyer next to him. We will counter with Nickel Mann. Defensive line out wide. Shinnick will blitz. Man pass coverage. One linebacker blitzing. Defensive line out wide. Shotgun snap. Bradshaw under duress. Throws. Incomplete pass. He was looking for Stallworth. Tassif running step for step with John Stallworth. And again, we force a punt. Do we go normal rush here? We're going to go normal pass. Normal punt rush. Don't hit the kicker. Oh, God, they're going to hit the kicker. No, they didn't. Cole Quick gets it off. Angling for the sideline, but not getting it. Tass it from his 15, and he gets to the 25. 45-yard punt, 9-yard return. They'll actually spot it at the 26. First and 10 for the Colts. Colts have not mounted any type of offense whatsoever. Well, we had those two Dupree runs. Let's go... Two 
two back set Amici behind Unitas Dupree to the right of Amici actually let's have Lenny Moore come in Barry will go in motion and then we're gonna sweep Or pitch left. We're going to the left outside run. It's going to be a sweep left with Lenny Moore. So Barry to the right and Lenny Moore the other way and he is kiboshed. The steel curtain comes crashing through. No blocking for Lenny Moore. Knocked out of bounds. Three yard loss. Second and 13. Holy poop. Let's go strong right. Strong right. Hey, diddle, diddle, Alan Amici up the middle. Barry to go in motion. Zone coverage. Alan the horse Amici bounces, and he just gets past the line of scrimmage. Picks up two of the three yards that were lost. It'll be third and 11. Banizak on a very violent tackle of Alan Amici. Third and 11. Third and 11. Screen to Lenny Moore. Zone coverage for the Steelers. Unitas to Moore. Moore zigging, zagging. And no place to go. Quickly, quickly corralling Lenny Moore. It was a steel curtain defense. Jack Lambert, the violent toothless one, on the tackle. Four-yard gain, but it's fourth and seven. And once again, the Colts will have to punt with Brown. It's still 2 nothing. Pittsburgh... Brown gets the punt off. 11.34 to play in this first half. Here is Bell. Bell with a short return of four yards on the 42-yard punt. The ball was, will be spotted at the 33 of the Steelers. And here's Terry Bradshaw and the offense. Harrison Blyer's split backs. Grossman's the tight end. Swan and Stallworth, your wideouts. Bradshaw under center. 4-3. Oh, that's 3-4. Three, 4-3. Four. Four, three. For the Colts. Man run coverage. Linebackers to read and react. First and 10 for Pittsburgh. Bradshaw to throw. Underneath. Incomplete. Was looking for Rocky Blyer in the flat. Sanford was all over that. Dave Little, LOL, neuter and spay LeBron. Well, that could be a bit harsh. <laughs> Though funny, but... All right, enough of bashing LeBron. Who am I kidding? Bash away, have fun. Second and ten, second and ten. Again, they go split backfield, second and ten. We're going to mix it up. We're going to go three, four, get an extra linebacker on the field. And we're going to play man pass coverage. Our four linebackers will read and react. So will the safety. Bradshaw under center. He's going to throw. Incomplete. The linebackers clogging the passing lanes. Bradshaw was trying to hit Swan on his short out. Davis, again, they're getting in those passing lanes. And this is just a defensive struggle. Third and 10 from the Pittsburgh 33. Harris goes off the field. Smith moves in. He's in the slot. We will counter this with man nickel. So DeCarlo's on Smith. Man nickel. We're going to stunt our down four. Shinnick, Myra, and Nelson to read and react. Nickel, man, pass coverage. Down four, stunting. Bradshaw to throw all day in the world. He throws a medium out. Complete to Swan. Gain of 13, Tassif on the tackle, Bradshaw, no pressure on him, could just wait for Swan to clear his defender and pick up the first down, chains move, ball spotted at the Pittsburgh 46, four new downs, 11-10 and counting in the first half, 2-0 Pittsburgh. Colts go back to a 4-3. As Blyer is back on the field with Harris, as Harris is back on the field with Blyer, excuse me. We're gonna play four three man run, no blitzers. Bradshaw to throw, screen to Blyer. He is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. 
as Sanford made him his son, slams him on his head. That's a two-yard loss. Second and 12 from the Pittsburgh 44. Smith comes on the field. Harris goes to the sideline. Harris is in the slot. The Colts, we will counter. Nickel man to Carlos on Smith. Shinnick will blitz. We're going to stunt. We're going to play pass. And we're going to have Nelson double Jim Smith. Come on, pick six. Bradshaw gives it to Blyer, and he runs into the blitzing Shinnick. As that looked like a, it was a pitch right, and then he, no place to go to the right, cut back towards the middle, and he ran into the waiting arms of Shinnick. Makes the tackle, two-yard loss, third and 14. Under 10 to play in the first half, 2 nothing Pittsburgh. They'll stick with Smith in the slot and Blyer the lone setback. We're going to play nickel man coverage. We're not going to double anyone. Shinnick, Myra, and Nelson, the safety, read and react. Nickel man coverage. Third and 14 for the Steelers. Bradshaw to throw. Middle incomplete. The Colts hold again. Davis helped out in coverage on Stallworth. That's who the pass was intended to. Fourth and 14. I have never played such a defensive struggle in this game. But it's a defensive struggle. Cole quit to punt from about his 25. Don't hit the kicker. That's a low-line drive punt. We got a chance for a return here. Actually, angles it out, unfortunately. That's going to be out of bounds near the 20. 38-yard punt, no return. It's spotted at the 20. 9-12 to play in the first half. 2-0 Pittsburgh. Can the Colts mount some sort of offense here? Screen to Alan Amici. Let's see if we can catch him out guard, off guard. Barry will motion left. We're going to screen right with Alan the horse Amici. Zone coverage. The screen to Amici. Amici cannot make the catch. Unitas under duress. Second and 10. Second and 10. Alan Amici on the dive play. Zone coverage for the Steelers. Amici gets the ball. He races forward. He's going to pick up eight or nine yards. It's a nine-yard pickup as Amici exploded. What a huge hole created by the Colts offensive line. Third and one. Another tackle for Jack Lambert. Third and one. Johnny Unitas will get the call himself. Man... And Unitas plunges forward on the sneak, picks up two. Banizak taps him down. So the Colts pick up a first. I only think that's like their second first down, second or third. First and 10 for the Colts at their 31. We will continue to attack the middle with Alan Amici. Man coverage for the Steelers. Amici gets the handoff, and Amici with a big run as he nears midfield. Amici, a quick move, and then the acceleration, 15 yards. As after further review with Steve Towers as well, Pat, neither team has been able to put a scoring drive together. That's why we have such low scoring game. Uh, such a low scoring game. Good job by Steve Tower in the chat. Remember this week in the NFL? Was that what that was called? Pat Summerall. And the guy who played, he was a defensive back for the Eagles. What the hell was his name? I can see him. Pat Summerall. Brookshire. Tom Brookshire. Tom Brookshire, I believe. I used to love watching that when I was a kid. First and ten. For the Colts at their 46. You gotta go. Hey, diddle, diddle, Amici up the middle. 
against a 3-4 here. It's a run blitz, and Amici bounces to the outside. He crosses midfield. Oh, they had Amici bottled up. But then he breaks a tackle, bounces outside. Never gave up on the play. He picks up six. L.C. Greenwood on the tackle. Nice run by Alan the Horse Amici. Dupree comes back in. Moore goes out. We're not going to put Barry in motion. And let's have Lyles go to the other side. Counter left to Dupree as the Colts try to go ground and pound. There's the counter to Dupree. He's got the first down and it's a big run as he stiff arms a would-be tackler. It's a gain of eight for Dupree, and once again in pursuit for his prey is Jack Lambert, but it comes eight yards too late. Yeah. Pat Summer and John Madden were excellent at calling games. Dave Little says, my favorite was this week in baseball with Mel Ann. Oh, yeah, that was awesome, too. I, I, I loved this week in baseball. Uh... The NFL had the game of the week. That was cool. It was about a 20-minute show with commercials, 25 minutes. Um, and then this week in the NFL. And then, do you remember this at the end? At the end of NFL games? God, it had to be late 70s, early 80s. The Alcoa Fantastic Finish. Those were great. I used to love those. I still say, what's his, uh, uh, was it Pearson definitely pushed off against the Vikings on that Hail Mary? Under seven minutes to play in this first half. 2 nothing Pittsburgh. Colts trying to get at least in the field goal territory. First and ten. Should we dare throw the ball? You know what? We dare. And when I throw the ball, I like to go over the top. Barry on the fly. Lyle. Lyle. We're going to go strong. Barry's going to go on that side. Lyles will stay in the block. Help out. Dupree will stay in the block. Amici will stay in the block. I think I want to go pro set. Play action fake. We're going to try to throw a fly to Barry. First and ten. United! Complete to Barry! But quickly closing and making the tackle is Johnson. We had no yak there. Captain Carl, eight. Charlie Jones. Oh, wow, he had a great voice, yeah. With Bob Greasy and Dick Enberg, Merlin Olsen did the big AFC games. Yes, they did. Uh, Steve Tower from after... After further review with Steve Tower, I love my dyslexia where I put crap in the back in the front. It's just awesome. I love it. He says, how about that, Mel Allen? So first and ten, Colts have some drive going here. Ball spotted at the Pittsburgh 28. And Johnny Yu is three of six for 23 yards. Now, in the new version coming up, you'll be able to click on even the other team to see what they're doing. But you can't do that now because you don't control them. So, first and ten. Hey, diddle, diddle, we're going to do it again. Play action fake. We're looking for Barry on a fly. Unitas! And this time, the magic doesn't work. He is sacked by Jack Lambert. A violent tackle. By Lambert on Johnny Yu, nearly knocking him out of his high top cleats. That's a loss of six. Ball spotted at the Pittsburgh 34. We went, I guess, one too many times to the well. Second and 16. Hey, diddle, diddle, Alan Amici up the middle on second and 16. Oh, that middle's wide open, and they jumped anyway. We That's encroachment. We're going to get five yards there. Second and 11. Hey, diddle, diddle, Amici up the middle. Alan Amici zigging, zagging, Third pinballs, down. only picks up three. Banizak and company swarm him under. Third and eight from the 26. For a ha let's just look at a field goal here. Just under 
Obviously, it's third down. We're not going for that. I just wanted to see it. Click back here. Third and eight. Moore comes in for Dupree. Third and eight. Delayed handoff to Alan Amici up the middle. Third and eight. Ball at the Pittsburgh 26. Amici! Amici has some room! First down! Alan the horse Amici! Nine yards tackled by Cole. They were playing a two-deep pass. A two-deep zone pass. Three, four. Here's the replay in actual speed. Amici picks his hole. Great blocking by the Colts. Sealing it off and allowing Amici to gallop for nine. Colts have something going here. First and 10 at the Pittsburgh 17. Pitch left as we're wearing down this Pittsburgh defense. You can see under, it says pass defense 9, run 9, pass rush 8. You can see defense is tiring. It's going to be a pitch left. To Lenny Moore, can he gain the corner? No, he cannot. They're not that tired. It's a loss of one. They strung that out. Dwight White on the stop of Lenny Moore. Lenny Moore, who's been really, really good in these games for the Colts. So it's going to be second and 11. It will be a quarterback draw with Johnny Unitas on second and 11. From the Pittsburgh 18. Unitas up the middle. And it's a pretty good run, and he holds on to the ball. They were punching at that ball, but Johnny Yu held on to it. Gain of seven. Towels on the tackle. Third and four. Third and four at the Pittsburgh 11. 2.30 to go in the half. 2 nothing Steelers. Third and four. Medium pass, Mushler, play action fake, Amici to block, Moore will run a hook, Barry across, we're looking for Mushler, Mushler on the out. It's a blitz, and United scrambles, and he is knocked out of bounds. No sack, Johnny can only get one yard, fourth and three. Ball spotted at the Pittsburgh 10. Myra for the field goal attempt. 82% 80, chance of success. Shot to hold. Put, put, put. The kick by Myra. And he shanked it. Oh, oh my, my Lord. 82% chance of success. 16 18% chance of failure. And we got the failure. As the straight-ahead kicker shanks it wide right. Here's the replay in agonizing slow motion. A beautiful a drive by the Colts. Ends with nothing. You'll get nothing, Spalding, and you will like it, said Judge Smale. Wow. Chip shot field goal, and we missed it. As Al Red Sox fans, field goal kickers, in whatever team we play, whatever season, continue to torment me. 155 left in the half. That Willie Stargell two-run homer still holds up. 2 nothing Steelers. As they got a safety on Dupree. To 155 to go. We hit the two-minute warning. Station identification break. You're watching the Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. And you're listening to or watching Pro Strategy Football 2021. I greatly appreciate your time. If you're enjoying the stream, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do so. If you do subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when we go live and have the fun. Also, check out the other wonderful content creators in the community, such as ID Gesture, Dave Little. After further review with Steve Tower, Sports Time Machine, Dave Gardner, TribesFan879, he was here at the wrestling match earlier. 
And I'd like to say thank you to Captain Carl 8. Jackson 711247. Dale Buckingham. RF. D. Scott Howard. The Goat Whisperer. Jim L. I think I got everybody. We got everybody. Thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. Still 2 nothing. Pittsburgh takes over first and 10 at their 20. Take care, ID Gesture. Thank you very much for stopping by, my friend. First and 10. We're going to play... Should we play nickel? Maybe we play 3-4 instead. Let's play 3-4 man. Pass. Linebackers and safeties to read and react. Bradshaw under center. He's going to throw. Middle, short, Grossman, and he is hit by several Baltimore Colts. Brown will be credited with the stop. It's a gain of three. Second and seven. 149 and counting. Pittsburgh quickly gets to the line of scrimmage. As Harris rushes off the field, Smith moves into the slot. And as they do that, we quickly switch to nickel man coverage. Nickel man coverage. We're going to blitz Myra. Play the defensive line in tight. Can we get a pick on Bradshaw? Bradshaw under duress. He throws to the sideline. Incomplete. Leaping high in the air was Stallworth. Leaping with him was Davis. Third and seven. Jim L says defensive struggle. It sure is. 129, third and seven. Both teams with all three timeouts. Third and seven. Would they run a draw with Blyer? Possible. Defensive line out wide. Ah, God, they could run a draw with Blyer. Defensive line to stunt. Linebackers to read and react. Third and seven. Bradshaw. Has time. They pick up the rush. He throws. Complete the stall with cross midfield. A gain of 29. Bradshaw to Stallworth. Tripping him up from behind is Davis. Otherwise, he was off to the races. Pittsburgh in the hurry up. We stick with Nickel. We're stunting our down four man coverage. Bradshaw to throw. He scrambles the pocket. Collapses, but Bradshaw doesn't. A couple of quick moves and a seven-yard run for Terry Bradshaw. Shinnick on the tackle. Pittsburgh uses their first time out. 59 seconds left in the half. Two-nothing Steelers. Four wide receivers set now. Smith and Stallworth to one side. Bell and Swan to the other. Down four will stunt. We're blitzing both of our linebackers. We're bringing the heat. Bradshaw has time. He throws. Almost picked off. Oh, boy. Bradshaw throwing off his back foot. Third and three. They go three wide receivers set as Grossman comes back on the field and Smith moves to the slot. Grossman's that in at tight end. Third and three, 53 seconds left in the half. Two nothing Pittsburgh. The Steelers have two timeouts. Defensive line will play tight. Third and three. Man pass coverage. Linebacker and linebackers and safety read react. Bradshaw to throw. Complete the Swan at the sticks and they got it. Four yard gain, but he stayed in bounds. Good tackle by Davis, not allowing him to get out. And unfortunately, the clock stops because Ray Brown is limping off the field for the 58 Colts. Simpson comes in at strong safety. And Pittsburgh uses their second timeout. Good for them. All right. That's a little glitch in the game, I guess. Maybe they started the clock up quickly. I don't know. So 49 seconds left. One timeout for the Steelers. Ball spotted at the Baltimore 37. First and 10. Myra will blitz. Nickel man. Here's the blitz. They pick it up. He throws. Incomplete. Medium out to Swan. Tassif batted it away. 
Second and 10, 42 seconds left in the half. We'll stick with Nickel. Myra will blitz again. Four down linemen. Tight split. Bradshaw barks out the signals. They pick up the blitz, and again, that was a short out, but he just doesn't have time to throw. As they did pick up the rush, but Baltimore is able to push those linemen back into Bradshaw. Third and ten. Bradshaw on shotgun now. Blyer next to him. Smith and Stallworth to one side. Grossman the tight end and Swan the receiver to the other. Third and ten. Shinnick will blitz this time. Nickel man pass coverage. Baltimore's defense is tiring. Bradshaw gets the shotgun snap. He throws. Complete to Grossman. He gets out of bounds, but well short of the first down. He picked up five. They needed ten. Fourth and five. Roy Jarella will attempt a 49-yard field goal. Colts going for the block. It is up. And short! Short! Baltimore holds once again. Savoy, 48, hope all is well. He says, is this a baseball game or football game? 2 nothing. Quite a barn burn. It's been a defensive struggle, my friend. That two-run homer by Stargell has held up. It was a safety early in the game on Dupree. Pittsburgh attempted a fake field goal early on. We, we had that covered. And now Jarella missed a 49-yard field goal. Baltimore takes over on their 39. 27 seconds left. They have three timeouts. We're heaving it up to Richard Chard. Hail Mary. Will Unitas have time? Johnny U. Under duress, he throws the magic bean as far as he can. The Richard Chard incomplete. Second down. Shell batted the ball away. Second and 10, 19 seconds left. Mushler on the post. United is back to pass again. Looking, looking. Pats the ball. Throws the post pattern. We got this one. Incomplete. Oh, boy. Again, a last-second deflection by the Steelers. Third and ten. Throwing it up to Barry. Third and ten. And United scrambles. He's under duress. He gets away from the pass rush. He heaves it. Oh, just incomplete off the fingertips of Raymond Berry. Christopher Slovic, how you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. Super Bowl nine between the Steelers and the Vikings. You are, yep, 2 nothing. Check out Christopher Slovic's wonderful channel. He has his, um, uh, I'm going to be listening to it later today as we're in morning. Are we in morning yet? We are in morning. It's 1225 on the eastern coast. Uh... Second and 10 is college championship. I think it's an all-Nebraska game, which is going to be really cool. Does a great job, Christopher Slovic. So fourth and 10, one second left. What the hell? Let's throw it up. Maybe we get a pass interference. Unitas looking for Barry, looking for that Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with me. It's incomplete, and that will end the half. 2 nothing Steelers. We start the third quarter in a moment. We go to our station identification break. You're watching and listening to Pro Strategy Football 2021, the 1958 Colts versus the 78 Steelers on the Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. If you're enjoying the stream, feel free to smack that like button. All content creators like that. If you want to subscribe, please do so. If you do subscribe, I can... Suggest hit the bell for notification when we go live and join the wonderful people in our chat. And check out the other wonderful content creators in our community, such as Christopher Slovic. D. Scott Howard has videos every once in a while. He's the goat whisperer. I love those videos. ID Gesture, he just left. After further review with Steve Towers, Dave Little. 
Sports Time Machine, our good friend Mr. Utah Mike, Dave Gardner, and many, many others. Nurse Teresa had opened the door. How are you, Nurse Teresa? I'm good. How are you? Oh, it's been it's two nothing. It's a football game. It's a football. Yes, game? It's, it's it's been a def- this is like hard to play this way. It's harder to call def- good defenses constantly. What's, so it's two nothing. Where are you in the game? Third quarter. Are you gonna yell at me if I'm loud? No, I'm good. Late. It was just no, late. I want I want to make sure. I, again, everyone in the chat, listen, listen. You're my witnesses, Nurse Teresa, who I love dearly. I love you too. I mean, we're married practically. Right. You live here. Yeah. You have a ring. I do. We full contact hug. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm, whatever. Right? I'm not going to comment. No comment. We have wild pets in the backyard. Rabbits, squirrels, we do, birds. We do. They're like our children. They are. We feed them. We feed them. They're fun to watch, right? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Are you going to yell at me if I get loud? <laughs> no. Can you say that a little louder? I'm going to shut the door. You're going to shut the door. John Wise have heard, has heard this, that you will not yell at me. I have witnesses. When I'm done, I might play another game. No, I'm coming to bed. I'm starting to get groggy. Though my arm doesn't hurt. That's good. Yeah. So, not yet. So, John Wise says, happy nurse, Nurses Appreciation Day. Thank you. I appreciate my nurse every day. You want to know how 12-year-olds tongue kiss? I'm your private duty nurse. You are my private duty nurse. Do you want to know how 12-year-olds tongue kiss? <laughs> We're not doing that. Well, there's no camera. They can't see. As John Wise has now turned on me, he says, Please yell at him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way the chat goes. I so, have no problem. No, she has no problem yelling at me. Don't worry. <laughs> Actually, I don't yell. No, she gives that look. I give and then I'm like, oh, oh I'm like, oh, poop. But I don't say poop. I say, like, I say, I say, shh. You know that word. No, the Muhammad Ali fight was. You got the look. I did not. Holler. Well, he hit him with a big right hand, honey. Honey, it was like two thirty in the morning. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I guess you couldn't sleep either. <laughs> All righty, back to the ball game. Jocularity over. Nurse Teresa's left the booth. What was I saying? All right, back to the game. Whatever. Our public service announcement. We forgot that. Free Pepe Le Pew. He never did anything to you. Baltimore. You know what? If it's in the end zone, I'm going to down it. So it's 2 nothing Pittsburgh. Jarella to kick off. 78 Steelers, 58 Colts. From about the three comes Lyles. 20, zigzagging. 25, 30, 35. And, bro, oh, Jarella, last man standing. We need a big return there. First and 10 for the Colts at their 38. We're not going to heave it up anymore. Two tight end set. Hey, diddle, diddle. Alan Amici up the middle. Two tight end set. Lyles and Pricer. Amici does not go anywhere but down. Loss of one. Jack Lambert has a gazillion tackles in this game. Second and 11. Second and 11. Two tight end set. Screen to Lenny Moore. Will the Steelers close the door? Lenny Moore has it. Lenny Moore down the sideline. But quickly... The steel curtain closes upon the Penn State grad. Again, Jack Lambert on the tackle. Gain of four. Third and seven. Third and seven. Split backfield of Amici and Moore. Lyles is the tight end. Third and seven. Draw to Alan Amici. Zone coverage for the Steelers. Amici, go, Allen! Bounces to the outside! First down! Yeah! Allen Amici, eight yards. Again, Lambert makes the tackle, fighting his way through the blocks. But it is too little too late. Ray Brown will be available for the 58 Colts when they take the field defensively. And that will help out. 
So first and 10 for Baltimore at their 49. Flea Flicker. No, don't throw to Amici, whatever you do. Oh, you can't make him block on the Flea Flicker. So that you're going to give it to Lenny Moore. Lenny Moore pitches back to Unitas. And we're throwing deep to Barry. Flea Flicker. Oh, that. Come on, Johnny. He throws. Complete to Barry on the Flea Flicker. Gain of 37. Razzle dazzle by the Colts. Here's the replay in glorious slow motion. The Colts offensive line held, but then it broke down. Unitas steps away from the rush, throws the magic bean, and Barry makes the reception, and the Colts are in business on the flea flicker. Johnson with the touchdown saving tackle, first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 14. Remember, Myra missed a chip shot field goal near the end of the half. Thus, we are still 2-0 Pittsburgh. Pro set, split backfield. Let's bring Dupree back in. Strong left, counter left, Dupree on first and 10. Will this play pop? It's a run blitz. Dupree gets popped. Second down. It's a yard loss. Wagner, from his defensive back position, with the tackle. Dale Buckingham liked that call on the flea flicker. Said, wow, great play call. We got to try to do something. Jim Elsa's gold Colts. God, Myra. Oh, God. Second and 11. Second and 11. Draw. Delayed handoff, Alan Amici. He'll pick his hole. Amici struggles for one. Actually, no gain. No gain. They spot the ball back. After further review with Steve Tower, wow, Unitas with some good pocket presence there. Oh, I love Johnny U. Again, these are games, but they're fun. I like, I tell you what I love about this game. I like action PC football. I like Stratomatic football on the PC. I don't have the um, uh, table size to really play the card and dice football. I have Fran Tarkin in football, which is card and dice base. It's actually dice and chart, and I can make teams quite easily on that. I put some of those down. Dice football takes a long time, but it's fun if you find the What I love about this game is... I like the animation of it. I love just looking at the uniforms. I love looking at the uniforms. And there is a lot of strategy in this game. I mean, if people don't like the game, that's fine. But there is a lot of strategy in this game. And it's fun. And I enjoy this game. Third and 11. For HaHa's, again, I just like to look. We're not kicking. Fifth, only a 57. Oh, so we must be going into the wind. Only a 57% chance of a field goal here from the 15. Again, we're not kicking a field goal. I just wanted to see what it was. Third and 11. Shotgun. Lenny Moore comes in. We're going to run a draw. If we go that. Nine nine seven six. Let's go strong, right? Draw out of the shotgun formation with Lenny Moore, Mushler and Call to one side, Barry and Richard to the other. Let's put Barry in motion. See if it's man or zone. Zone. We got it. Draw Lenny Moore. Oh wow, they close quickly. Two yard gain. Banizak fourth. Banizak on the tackle. Fourth and nine. Balls at the thirteen. 57% chance of a field goal. Oh, my God. Third and nine. 57% chance of going up three to two. We need nine yards. Third 
Fake field goal. Shot of Lyles on the cross. Shot. Throws. Touchdown, Lyles! Yeah! Fake field goal. Shot of Lyles. 13 yards. And the nest T plunge. And the 1958 Colts on this drive with two razzle-dazzle plays, a flea flicker to Barry, and now a fake field goal touchdown pass from Shaw to Lyles, and it is to 6-2. How do you do, Colts? Here's the replay in slow motion. The Colts do not trust Myra as he missed an 82% chance. Touchdown. And we go fake field goal to Lyles, and the steel curtain doesn't know what hit them. It was a Susie Q, I tell ya. As Jim L. likes the call. <laughs> now Myra for the extra point. This is a huge extra point here. Shot a hole. Myra puts it up and through. And the fans here in Baltimore are loving it. Jackson 711247 liked the call. Dale Buckingham liked the call. Well, when it, this is a fun game. Again, under $20 if you're on Steam. All the seasons are free in the mod community. From the mod community. It's just such a fun game. After further review with Steve Tower doing his best, Mel Allen, oh my, how about that? Savoy 48, and the Orioles hit a six-run home run. Oh, that's true. Baltimore, Pittsburgh, they played in two World Series. 1971-1979. So it's 7-2. to two. We're going to kick deep. 10-22 left in the third quarter. Heck of a football game. Steelers from about the three comes Maxson. And he takes it to the 21. Jim Ellis says, Pro Strategy Football is my second favorite football game. It's a great fit for your sports sim game collection, I do believe. Um, it's, uh, I could play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the creamsicle uniforms every day just to look at the uniforms. All right, first and 10 Steelers on their 21, split backfield. So we're going to go 4-3. No blitzers. Two deep zone. Run. Safety's playing back. It's a give to Harris. Harris bounces to the outside. The middle was clogged up. Picked up three. Joyce on the stop. It's going to be second and seven. Second and seven. We're going to go back to man coverage. Staggered backfield now. Harris to the right. Blyer directly behind Bradshaw. Swan and Stallworth out wide. Grossman, the tight end to the left. We're going to go 4-3. Man pass, and we're going to blitz Shinnick up the middle. Hut, hut, hut. Bradshaw to throw. They pick up the rush. Incomplete. He could not hit Blyer in the flat. Celebrity Bikini, a.k.a. Jake Cruz, wanted to just stop by and say hello. We greatly appreciate that, Jack. And he's going to take, he's got to hit the hay. Savoy 48. Will be difficult to top that Rams raid. Oh my god. We almost had... What the hell was that called? The Heidi Bowl all over again. How ironic that Joe Namath... Again, it's a game. But how, how ironic it was Namath and the Raiders. That was, an, that was the most wild game I've ever played. Third and seven. They're going to stay with that split backfield, the Steelers, as they come to the line of scrimmage. We're going to go 3-4. Get that extra linebacker there. Man pass coverage, 3-4, linebackers and safety to read and react. Bradshaw is going to take off, scrambling, and we got him. He ran a quarterback draw, Donovan, 
When the linebackers slowed him up, Art Donovan brought him down. Big old Art Donovan who could tell a great story. Fourth and three as the Colts continue to deny Pittsburgh an offensive score. Fourth and three. Do not. We're going to play watch the fake so we don't hit the punter. I don't think they're faking, but I just don't want to. Don't hit the punter. Don't hit the punter. Cole Quick gets the punt off. And here comes Tassif, 40, and past the 40 of the Colts. 38-yard punt by Colquitt, 8-yard return by Tassif. Baltimore will have the ball first and 10 at their 42. Colts up 7-2, 8.45 left in the third quarter. Do you pick offense? I pick the offense and defense. I pick all the plays for the Colts. When we're in this screen right here, this is where I pick the plays. Now... The way I have it set it up, if I say pass to Barry, he might not pass to Barry because I have it to spread out the ball more. And even if you don't have that, they don't always pass to the same receiver you pick. But if you don't have spread out the ball more, uh, they I'm going to say like 70, 75, 80% of the time they will pass to that receiver. First and 10. We're going to run a draw out of shotgun on first and 10 to Lenny Moore. Ball at the Baltimore 42. Zone coverage. Lenny Moore bounces to the outside, but not much there. Struggles to get back to the line of scrimmage as it was plugged up in the middle. Second and 10. Second and 10. Split backfield now of Amici and Dupree. Moore goes off the field. And it'll be a delayed handoff to Dupree. Barry in motion. Man coverage for Pittsburgh. Delayed handoff. Dupree runs right into the blitz. It was an all-out blitz, a ballroom blitz, and Pittsburgh got to Dupree just as he got to the line of scrimmage. No gain. Wagner on the tackle. Injury on the field, and it's Dupree. He got his bell rung. Moore comes in at halfback, so Dupree goes to the sideline thinking he's Batman. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. And that will bring up third and ten. Moore and Amici in the backfield. Barry will not go into motion. Delayed handoff to Alan Amici. And let's go strong left. Zone coverage, Amici. And he is brought down in the backfield by L.C. Greenwood. And that's going to bring up 4th and 12. And the 58 Colts will punt. And it'll be Brown to punt. As John Wise is rooting for the Steelers. The punt is off. And here comes... I don't even know how to pronounce that guy's name. Ruddershawn. 45-yard punt, 5-yard return by Ruddershawn. 6.55 to go in the third quarter. 7-2. 58 Colts over the 78 Steelers. Harris directly behind Bradshaw. Blyer to the left. Grossman and Swan to the left. Grossman the tight end. Stallworth out wide right. We're going to go 3-4. Run to deep zone. Bradshaw to throw. Underneath to Harris. Harris is going to pick up two. Actually, holy crap, that's a four-yard gain. Tassif on the tackle. So he got a couple more yards than I thought. Kayfabe. Kayfabe, how you doing? Terrible towels being waved. Another Steeler fan has joined us. Dave Gardner says crazy score. Unbelievable score. I don't know if you saw it, Dave. We had to run a flea flicker and then a fake field goal to get our touchdown on that one drive. Harris goes off the field. Smith in the slot. Swan and Stallworth out wide. Blyer the lone setback. Grossman at tight end. 3-4. Actually, we're going to go nickel. Uh, nickel man. So DeCarlo's on Smith in the slot. Nickel man. Defensive line, we're going to play tight. And this is me calling the defensive plays. That's how you call them in this game. Point and click. Similar to Stratton away. Second and six, man pass coverage, no blitzers, linebackers to read and react. Bradshaw with time, middle, complete to Smith. Gets the slot receiver. 
Shinnick couldn't get there in time. The linebacker gain a nine. First and ten Steelers at their 33. Four wide receivers set. Trips to the left. Smith, Swan, and Bell. Stallworth to the right. Will they go over the top to Stallworth? We're going to blitz Myra on first and ten. And we're going to play pass. Oh, I was playing the run on that other one. Ouch. Bad mistake on my part. But it's a blitz. Bradshaw under duress. He's hit as he's thrown. No flag injury. I think we just concussed Terry Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw goes limping off the field. Word from the sideline. He'll be back. Kruzik comes in at quarterback. So it's Kruzik at quarterback at second and ten. We, they're going to run the ball here. We're going to key the run. And we're going to play 4-3 run man coverage Kruzik's gonna throw underneath he was looking for a quick little hitch to Grossman through behind Grossman Brown on the coverage 535 left in the third quarter Bradshaw being treated on the sideline Kruzik under center Blyer behind him Smith in the slot we're playing pass here on third and ten and we will play nickel Nickel man. We're going to stunt up front. And we're going to blitz Myra. Try to get pressure on the backup quarterback here. Kruzik throws incomplete. So the backup quarterback has no magic wand. Fourth and ten. Dupree will be available for the Colts when they're back on offense. Cole quit the punt. We're going to go normal punt rush. Don't hit him. Oh, he shanked it. And Richard Richardshard picks up six. A horrible punt. And the up, the the first man standing, Richardshard, picks up six. The ball is spotted at the 46-yard line of Pittsburgh. 524 to play. This is a huge moment for the Colts. They're up 7-2. to two. Pittsburgh has not scored an offensive has not scored anything on offense. They have a safety. Colts scored on their last drive. A flea flicker set them up to get that score. And then the fake field goal shot a Lyles for the Nesty plunge. Extra point was good. 7-2. to two. That's how we stand. Hey, diddle diddle. Alan Amici up the middle. Amici, he stays low, plows for three. Mean Joe Green on the tackle. Savoy48, have you played any of the draft day sports games? I've played the basketball game. It's oh, it's good. It's good. I have it. I, I, People, if you'd like to try it, it's not a bad game. It's not a game I play a lot. Um, It's a good game. I've not played the football game. Um, but it's a good game. You know, you got to play the games you like. Again, it's not one of my, not a bad game. I can't, I've played it. I have a few videos of the basketball game on the channel. They have an animated chalkboard. They do a good job with that. Football has an animated chalkboard too. Um, it's a weird way, like on basketball, you don't call like plays. You say, I want to run this type of offense, and you watch. It's fun. Again, it's a... I should go back to it. I haven't played it in a while. All right, second and seven. Amici up the middle again on second and seven from the Steeler, 43. And Amici, big run by Amici. Oh, he fumbles to the joy of John Wise. Oh, Amici had the first down. He was struggling for more yards. And the ball is punched loose, and Pittsburgh comes away with a pigskin. And that could prove costly for the Colts. Here it is in slow motion. You can see Amici, a good tough run, staying low, pinballs off a couple of defenders. And right there, trying to break a tackle. And the Steelers were able to get that ball out of his hands. And the Steeler curtain wins the day on that one. So, Krusik. Kruzek comes back in. Bradshaw still hurt. Harrison Blyer, your split backs. 
Swan and Stallworth, your wideouts. Grossman's a tight end. We're going to go 4-3 and play run. Man coverage. Kruzek to throw. Incomplete. Looking for a medium hitch to Stallworth. Davis, the linebacker, got out there. Or is that the defensive back? Let's look at that again. Davis, no. Davis is the defensive back. John Wise is happy about that. The fumble, not the incompletion. What do we do here? And it's caught by Stallworth as I thought I hit replay. So it's going to be third and six. So Kruzek completes his first pass. Just over four minutes to play in the third quarter. Nickel. We're going to play nickel. Defensive line in tight. Linebackers to read and react. Third and six. Can Kruzek make a play? It's a screen. Complete the flyer, and he is swarmed under. No gain. In fact, a three-yard loss. The Colts were sitting on that. As I played the run, so I lucked out there. Screens don't work well against run defense unless you get good blocking. Fourth and nine. Cole quit the punt. He's going to punt from his 20. Gets the punt off. 7-2 Colts, under four to play. Here's Tassif. He takes it to the 30. 38-yard punt, four-yard return. Johnny Unitas and the offense start first and 10 at their 30. Amici who fumbles in the backfield with Dupree. And let's go pro set. Actually, better run. I formation. Amici the up back. Dupree behind him. It'll be Dupree up the middle. They continue to attack the Steeler. Middle, it's a run blitz, and Dupree with a good run. Good blocking. He had a tiny seam. He picks up five. Greenwood on the tackle, second and five. Again, Dupree up the middle. Dupree bounces to the outside. He'll pick up one or two. Two yards, knocked out of bounds. Dupree never giving up on the play. Second and three. As we're just over two minutes in the third. Second and three. I'm sorry, third and three. Counter left. Alan Amici trying to make amends for his fumble on third and three. Amici, first down. A big pop put on him by Cole, but Amici holds on to the ball. That's a gain of six. Amici has fumbled once. 16 carries, 71 yards. Dupree, nine carries, 40 yards. Unitas, oh, because they have it a run. Three carries, 10 yards. And if we go to pass. Unitas, five for 12, 64 yards. No touchdowns and no picks. First and 10. Dupree will attack the middle again. Ball at the Baltimore 43. Dupree follows his blocks. Second down. Picks up two. Green on this tackle. Mean Joe Green, famous for the Coca-Cola commercial. Just over a minute to play. Counter left. Alan Amici out of the I formation. And Amici goes to the left. Only picks up one. Tows on the stop. Terry Bradshaw seems to be A-OK. -okay. He's going to be coming back next time the Steelers are on offense. Third and seven. Third and seven. Shotgun, four wide receivers set. Moore comes in. Third and seven at the Baltimore 46. Halfback option pass to Barry. Moore rolls, throws, incomplete through behind Barry. Shell on the coverage. That time the razzle dazzle didn't work. Fourth and seven. Colts will punt. Um, 
And we're going to try to pin him back. We're going to try to angle it towards the sidelines. Brown to punt from his 30. Probably should have punted normal. That's not a bad punt, though. And it's going to go out at the 5. He got a nice boot there. 49-yard punt out of bounds. Terry Bradshaw back on the field. Pittsburgh starts first and 10 at their 5. Smith's in the slot. Blyer the lone setback. Grossman the tight end. Stallworth and Swan out wide. We're going man, nickel. Man, nickel, run. Bradshaw to Blyer. Blyer picks up to Gino Marchetti on the tackle. First time we've called the name of big Gino Marchetti. This should end the third quarter. Second and eight. We're going to play nickel pass. They won't get the playoff. Harris and Blyer are in the backfield. And that ends the third quarter. 7-2 to two, Baltimore of 1958 over the 78 Steelers who have yet to score points on offense. We now go to our station identification break. You're watching Pro Strategy Football 2021. The 1958 Colts and the 1978 Steelers on the Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. If you're enjoying the stream, smack the like button. If you want, subscribe. If you do subscribe, please hit the bell for notifications so you can go and so you can come and join us live and enjoy the chat. I'd like to say thank you to D. Scott Howard, John Y, Savoy48, K Fabes, Total NWA, Dave Gardner. Jim L., Celebrity Bikini, a.k.a. Jake Cruz. After further review with Steve Tower, Dale Buckingham, Jackson 711247. ID Gesture, Captain Carl 8, Dave Little, Sports Time Machine. I think we got everybody right now. And we did. Now for the final 15 minutes of football. Now your public service announcement. Free Pepe Le Pew. He never did anything to you. He's a cartoon character. Can the Colts hold on here? We're 2-0 and in these challenge games with Johnny Unitas. Second and eight. And we're going to play nickel man pass coverage. Blyer the lone setback. Smith in the slot. Ball at the Pittsburgh 7. It's a handoff to Blyer. Blyer plunges the middle for three yards. Shinnick on the stop. A big third and five now. Final 14-56 in the game and counting. Swan and Bell to one side. Smith and Stallworth to the other. Rocky Blyer out of Notre Dame. Vietnam veteran. The lone setback. We're going to play nickel man. Defensive line in tight. Myra will blitz. We're sending five rushers against Bradshaw. We got knocked out of the game. And Bradshaw is sacked. Yes. A big daddy Lipscomb on the sack of Terry Bradshaw. He took another hard hit. Fourth and 11. They're going to punt. We're going for the punt block. Colquitt nearly out of his end zone. He gets the punt off. It's a short punt. And Tassif fields it and takes it three yards forward. It was a high punt, but only 41 yards. And the Colts' defense sets up the Colts' offense. Tremendous field position. First and 10 at the Pittsburgh 42. They could put this game away here, folks. They're going shotgun. They're going for the kill. Not really. We're running a draw with Lenny Moore. Out of shotgun. Unitas. Delayed handoff. Lenny Moore. And Pittsburgh quickly closes the door. No gain. Mean Joe Green met Lenny Moore. Second and ten. Second and ten. Got to take advantage of this. Sweep left. Out of shotgun. Lenny Moore. There's a sweep. Lenny Moore barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Knocked out of bounds. No gain. Third and ten. Lenny Moore has been contained. Lenny Moore has been contained. He's usually been huge for us in these games. Third and ten. Split backfield of Amici and Moore. Third and ten.
dive play Alan Amici. They're going right at that middle. That looks like a three deep zone. Amici again. The Steelers win the day at the line of scrimmage. That down four has been fearsome right here on this drive. Mean Joe Green on another tackle. No gain for Alan Amici. The steel curtain holds. We don't move a yard after starting first and 10 at the 42. It's now fourth and 10. And Brown will try to pin the Steelers back once again. And they'll punt towards the sideline. Brown gets the punt off. And that's going to go out around the 12. 30-yard punt. Bradshaw and the Steelers take over first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 12. Harris and Blyer, your split backs. Bradshaw under center. Swan and Starworth out wide. Grossman's the tight end. 3-4 man Pass coverage, no blitzers for the 58 Colts. Bradshaw gives it to Franco Harris. Harris goes down. off tackle right, three yards, tackled by Shinnick, second and seven. Again, three, four, man, pass for the Colts. Usual suspects on the field for the Steelers. Bradshaw to throw, as time. Complete the Stallworth. It was a short slant. Stallworth quickly tackled by Tassif. Third and two. Ball at the Pittsburgh 20. Third and two. Fifty-eight Colts. We're gonna go four down linemen. Four three man. Third and two. Linebackers to run blitz. Third and two. Bradshaw to Harris, and he's not going to get there. Oh, he got there. Oh, what a spot. We thought we stopped him, but Harris struggled enough. Yeah, Eddie, dive play on third and ten. I did run a dive play on third and ten, Eddie. I'm up seven to two in a defensive struggle. I'm not going to give them the ball. I... My defense is playing well, Eddie. You can throw deep on that. If you just joined us, I already had a couple of trick plays. That's how we got our seven points. But, yeah, I ran a dive play on third and ten. I sure did. And we're winning seven to two. Here we go. That two points, we haven't given up a, any offensive scores, Eddie. When your defense is playing well, you put the ball in your defense's hands. That being said, they're probably going to throw for a touchdown and go up on me. That would make Eddie, ball game, very happy probably. Nickel, man, run, two deep zone. Blyer, the lone setback. Bradshaw runs it himself, and he'll pick up six. Nelson. On the tackle. By the time they snap the ball, under 10 to play. They're going I formation, the Steelers, of 1978. Harris, the up back. Blyer behind him. We're going to go 4-3. Defensive line in tight. Second and four. Shinnick will blitz the... Ooh, hold on. We got to go man coverage. Shinnick will blitz the middle. Actually, let's go normal. Second and four, man pass coverage. Put, put, put. It's a blitz. And get him, get him, get him. We sack Bradshaw. Yeah. Loss of one, third and five. Shinnick on the sack. Third and five. When they snap, it'll be nine minutes left in the game. Split backfielder Harris and Blyer. Grossman's a tight end. Swan and Stallworth out wide. Do we want to bring... I think we're better with bringing pressure here on third and five. They might screen. Same thing. Shinnick's going to blitz the middle. Man pass coverage. 4-3, third and five. Bradshaw. It's a delayed handoff to Blyer. He's got the first. They beat us with the draw. We blitz the middle linebacker. Brown on the tackle. Drive continues. 
under nine to play. Pittsburgh has it first and 10 at their 32. We're going to play the run. Man run, 4-3. Bradshaw, Harris. Harris to his left. Picks up five. Shinnick torpedoes him. Eddie Ballgame says, I wonder what Unitas would have called. A screen, maybe. Or, no. That's a good question. Now, I'm not Unitas. I played it more conservatively, as I told you, Eddie. I love Johnny. That's a good question, Eddie. Slant to Barry, maybe? I thought about that. Maybe a slant to Barry. But in the game, I'll tell you why I ran the ball, Eddie. Defense playing well. And I figured they'd be sitting on Barry. You know what I mean? I didn't want to throw any type of pick there. Though we have fumbled with Amici. So second and five, second and five. We're going to play the run, 4-3, man. And it's a give to Harris, and he's got the first down. So Harris starts churning his legs. This is not good, folks. Another five yards, Gino Marchetti. Only the second time we've called Gino's name. First and 10 for the Steelers at their 42. Shinnick's going to blitz the middle. Man run. Our defense is tiring. Steelers wearing us down. And incomplete. Short hitch to Swan on the outside. Pellington on the coverage. So Pellington came, came over to help out there. Second and 10. We're going to play pass. 3-4 man coverage. Myra will blitz one of our middle linebackers. Colts defense tiring. Bradshaw to Harris. Harris shimmy shams. Oh, my Lord. Big tough run by Franco Harris. He picks up eight. Third and two. Third and two. It will be an all-out run blitz. All four linebackers are a coming. Man coverage. We need a big play here. And Harris busts through. It's a big run, and he gets out of bounds. Gain of 15. Oh, my God. Pittsburgh has it first and 10 at the Baltimore 35. Trying to catch their breath. All right, is the Colts' defense... Colts go back to a 4-3. Man run. Linebackers to read and react. Bradshaw, it's a sweep to Franco Harris. He's brought down near the line of scrimmage. No gain. Joyce on the tackle. 5-59 and counting in this game. Pittsburgh down by 5. 7-2 Colts. It's been a defensive slobber knocker. Second and 10. We're going to play pass. Sanford will blitz from outside. 4-3 man pass coverage. Here's the blitz. They pick it up. Bradshaw to throw. Complete the swan. He's racing for the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. And the Steelers go up 8-7. Here's the replay in actual speed. They picked up the rush. Bradshaw zips it to swan who evades the tackler, and he goes in for the Nesty plunge. Touchdown. Those tough runs by Harris when we thought we had him stopped were the killer there, and us not getting points in that great field position. So it's 8-7. They're going to go for two. Oh, we got the two-point conversion. Oh, yes, in this league there is a two-point conversion. Two-point conversion. This is huge, as our good friend Chris Slovic would say. They're going for two. Okay. 4-3. Defensive line in tight. It's a run blitz. We're sending everybody in the kitchen sink. And Blyer gets in! Blyer gets in! It is a 10-7 game. Holy cow. Two-point conversion. As K Fabe says, your defense is shredded wheat. 
as he's a Steelers fan. But we got Johnny Unitas. If it's... Uh, okay. All right. 520 to go. Johnny Unitas. Finally, Pittsburgh puts up points on offense. John Wise is happy. Everyone's happy. They're all Steelers. Oh, you better down this ball. Lyles downs it. First and 10 at the 20. 520 to play. Colts down by 3. 10, 7. 78 Steelers over the 58 Colts. Flea Flicker, Barry on the bomb. And United! Oh, he heaves it! We got it. Complete the Barry! Yeah! As once again, we caught the Steelers nap and they were playing the run. Barry from United's 34 yards, and here come the Colts. Here's the replay in slow motion. The handoff to Moore. Moore pitches back to United's. United sidesteps the rush. Fires the magic bean as far as he can throw it. Barry beats his defenders. Had to slow up just a bit. And that was enough for the touchdown saving tackle by Shell. Start running clock. Okay. First and 10 on the Pittsburgh 41. How do you like them apples? <laughs> I jest. Split backfield. Alan Amici up the middle. Oh, they're playing tight. They're playing tight. Amici bounces it's a good run hold on to that ball alan hold on to that ball gain of six second and four mean joe green on the tackle you know what let's bring in no let's keep go counter left lenny moore he's gonna pop on this play clock going tick 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 lenny moore first down crossing the 30 gain is seven jack ham on the tackle clock running Colts taking their time. Colts taking their time. Ball at the 28. Ball at the 28. Counter right with Alan Amici. First time we're going counter right here. And Amici with a good run. Takes it to the 20. Gain of seven. Banizak finally brings him down. Clock going tick, tick, tick. Dupree comes back in. Second and three. Counter left with Dupree. The give to Dupree. Dupree has the first down as he takes it close to the 15. Five yard gain. Tows on the tackle. The Steelers on the ropes. The ball will snap near the two-minute warning. First and ten from the Pittsburgh 16. Johnny Unitas, if we have time. Nope, two-minute warning. Two-minute warning. Two minutes to go in the game. The 1978 Steelers 10, the 1958 Colts 7. We come down the stretch here, folks. We come down the stretch as we have John Wise yelling for a fumble. We have all kinds of Steeler fans yelling for a fumble. Now we have to channel our inner Eddie ball game. What would Johnny Unitas call? Time for our station identification break. You're watching and listening to Pro Strategy Football 2021 on the Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. If you're enjoying the stream, hit the like button. If you want, subscribe. If you do subscribe, I suggest hitting the bell for notification when we go live and you can jump in the chat and have fun with all these fine people. John Wise, K Fabes, Total NWA. Eddie Ballgame, Captain Carl A, D. Scott Howard, and many, many others. All right, here we go. 
And public service announcement, free Pepe Le Pew. He never did anything to you. Uh, after further review with Steve Tower, and what a finish we've got in store here. Coming down for the wire. Coming down to the wire, excuse me, says Dave Little. Check out those wonderful channels. All right. First and ten, two minutes to go. Field goal ties it. We've already missed one. Unitas up the middle. We're going to stick with that call. Unitas! Yes! First and goal! Crew cut and high top cleats. Johnny Unitas calls his own number. He picks up 10. Jack Lambert with another tackle. First and goal. John Weiss is sponsored by Biddy Beer and Burger Hut. I did run the dive. <laughs> Picked up nine. Clock running, 118. We're going to run Unitas again. It's a touchdown, folks. I hate to tell you. Oh, he's close. Second down. 39 seconds left. We probably should go to hurry up here. I want to make sure I have enough plays. Uh, hurry up. And that brings us to 103. Let's go strong right. Counter left. Alan Amici. A chance for a reprieve. They give it to Alan the horse or Amici. No! Third down. Third and goal. They're in the hurry up. Third and goal. Tight end reverse, Lyles. Pittsburgh calls a timeout. Third and goal from the four. No. No, let's not do that. Draw Dupree. What? What? Delayed handoff. Touchdown, Dupree! Touchdown. Yes! The Colts take the lead 13 to 10. Here's the replay in slow motion. What a drive by Unitas and the Colts. It's Dupree. The Baltimore offensive line parted Pittsburgh like the Red Sea. And and uh, excuse me, Dupree goes in for the Nesty Plunge. One more time in slow motion. Look at that hole. Look at Dupree. Boy, did he pop free. It is 13 to 10. Is it the beginning of the end? 50 seconds left in this game. The ever important extra point by the ever adventurous Myra. Shot a hold. The kick is. Please go through. It's good! It's good. 14 to 10. 50 seconds left. Dale Buckingham says, wow, great drive. Fun drive. Can we pull off another close win here with the 58 Colts? This would be, We're going to kick deep. Yeah, Savoy 48, 50. I tried to run enough clock. Here's the kickoff. We need a fumble. We need a fumble. They need a touchdown. We just need to keep everything in front of us. From the end zone... Maxon, tackle him, tackle him. Yes. Should have took a knee, Maxon. Chuck Knox will not be happy. Well, not, not Chuck Knox. Chuck Knoll will not be happy with that. Okay. 44 seconds. Prevent. I really hate playing prevent, but we're going to play prevent. They're going to throw. They got three timeouts. They can throw anywhere. We're going to play three deep zone prevent. Brad shot a throw. It's a deep out. Incomplete. We got that covered. I was looking for Stallworth. 38 seconds left. We're playing prevent three deep zone. Bradshaw shotgun. Blyer next to him. Bradshaw 
Throws. It's an out. And oh, Stallworth with the one-handed grab. 21 yards and out of bounds. Ball at the Pittsburgh 32. We had, we're going to oh, play three deep zone again. Bradshaw looking, looking, looking. Middle. Caught Swan. Someone freaking tackle him. First down. 32 yards of Swan. That's why I don't play freaking zone. Pittsburgh uses their first timeout. 26 seconds left. Here come the Steelers. Ball at the Baltimore 36. No more zone because zone sucks. Nickel. Man. No blitzers. All right, nickel man. Myra's going to blitz. Here we go. Pittsburgh with two timeouts left. Shotgun. Here's the blitz. Bradshaw throws. Incomplete. We brought the pressure. Tassif on the coverage of Swan. 20 seconds left. Oh, they're going to toss it up. They're going to toss it up here. It's a Hail Mary. Defensive line in tight. Nah, I don't like the zone. I don't like it. But they're in. That looks like they're going to throw it up. That looks like they're going to throw that. It looks like they're going to throw. You know what? Let's go prevent. I, I, it looks like they're going to throw up a Hail Mary here. What? Bradshaw looking, 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 looking. He throws. Incomplete. Incomplete. It was a Hail Mary. Oh, my Lord. Ten seconds left. They're going to chuck it up again. What? From the Baltimore 36. No pressure. Now Bradshaw under duress. Again, he throws deep middle. Incomplete as we're holding on for dear life. One second left. This is it. I can't even look. Bradshaw pumps. Throws it high and deep. Oh, it's a touchdown on the very last play. Bradshaw hits Stallworth, and the Colts lose. Unbelievable. 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 Bradshaw threw it high and deep. Stallworth went up to get it. And the clock has struck 12 on the Baltimore Colts. Unbelievable. Wow. Rob's rules joined us. He says, oh my God. Unbelievable. <laughs> we had so many. We had the two comebacks with the Colts. Well, no, we held on. We had the comeback with the Colts on the other one. Or in the other day with the Rams and our 77. Unbelievable. I just had a feeling. I had a feeling. We got to watch that over. Here it is in slow motion. Bradshaw arced it high and deep. Stallworth went up between the defenders. Watch this. I mean, we had the right defense call. <laughs> Jesus. Touchdown. God was a Steelers fan in this game. And I think they're going to kick the extra point because they just kicked the extra point. They're going to beat us 17-14. The extra point is mute, you know, doesn't mean anything. But what a game. I had a feeling. I just had a fe I almost blitzed. I almost. There you have it. I played zone and I got beat. Jimmy West, first time commenter, and wow, what if Jimmy, thank you very much, my friend. Hope all is well. We always greatly jump in the chat. It's a nice chat.
Let's watch it again. The Steelers fans, we had lots of Steelers fans. They wanted to watch the win. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, this is the kick. There. Here's another cool feature. I'm going to show you really, as Dave Little, this was an Alcoa. Remember I was talking about the Alcoa fantastic finishes? Remember? Eddie Ballgame says, wow, just wow, great game. Thank you, Eddie. You know what You know what beat us? Remember Myra missed the 82% chance of a field goal? If we make that field goal, it would have been 17-17. That would have been a tie, right? So here's a real cool feature of the game. That was an epic game. Again, this is pro strategy football. Tremendously fun game. Let's this I love this. So let's we can watch any score or turnover. But here is the last play. And it's in slow motion. One more time. I almost I almost went to man and I was gonna send five rushers. And I probably should have. And there it is. Between three defenders, it looks like. So you can watch any. Take care, John. Thank you very much. This was a safety. So you can watch all the plays again. This is Myra missing the freaking. Oh, this was a fake field goal. We got our touchdown here. And then you can watch all the scores. This is a Michi fumbling ball. This was a killer. This killed us. That was a killer. That's a big play. This is a swan touchdown. I love I love that you can watch all that. And in the next game, the next game, uh, the highlight packages are going to be even more. And this is what we thought when we won the game. Delayed handoff to Dupree. But... We all know what happened. On the last play of the game, one second left on the clock, Bradshaw arced it high and deep. John Stallworth, out of grambling, went up high and got it. Touchdown. Game over. There you have it. Quickly, let's look at the stats and call it a stream. Oh, oh, shoot. Stats. Steelers. Bradshaw, 16 of 33, 225, two touchdowns. The game winning touchdown to Stallworth. Johnny Unitas, 6 of 13, 98 yards. Shaw, 1 for 1, touchdown pass. Lenny Moore, 0 for 1. Amici, 21 for 85 yards. That fumble was a killer. Dupree had the 1 touchdown, 12 for 51. And Pittsburgh, Harris, 18 for 79. Blyer, 7 for 27. Receiving, Stallworth, 6 for 118 and a touchdown. Swan, 4 for 84 and a touchdown. So, again, you might question the play calling by the Sim Engine, but who made the big plays in 78 for the Steelers? Swan and Stallworth, right? Who made the big plays in this game? Swan and Stallworth. So. Jimmy West says, you're welcome, sir. This game looks very, looks really fun. We'll be getting it when I get a new laptop. The mods also look awesome. Steeler fan here. Oh my God! Everyone loves the Steelers. As that's all right. And again, I joke with like like I'm joking with Eddie and stuff and other people. But that's why, you know, when you go back, Eddie in a way is correct. I ran. I played very conservative on that drive. We didn't get any points. And we didn't, the, the field goal killed us. Anyway, it's a fun game. I recommend it. Uh, and good night to you, Steve Tower. So I've been babbling on. I should go get some sleep. There you have it. Oh, we got to look at tackles real quick. Baltimore. Barry, three for 83. We caught him on a couple of flea flickers. We didn't get Lenny Moore going. That was the other thing. Pittsburgh did a great job on Lenny Moore. We didn't get him. He's like, he's, we, we've used him as a beast against, uh, we beat the 84 Dolphins. And who did we beat there? Oh, we beat the, um. Who the heck did we play in our... Oh, we beat Tom Brady. <laughs> we beat Tom Brady. Yep, Eddie Ballgames says 78 Steelers were a big play passing team. Ask Dallas. And they beat us with big passing plays. All right, now let's quickly go to defense. Wow. So Shinnick had 10, 10 tackles. 
a sack. We sacked Bradshaw three times. Shinnick, Sanford, Less the Sun, and Big Daddy Lipskin. We didn't get any turnovers, though. Lambert. How many tackles do you think Lambert had? I'm going to say 17. Oh, Pittsburgh. Lambert, 13. He had a sack. Cole had a sack. Shell had the fumble recovery. Only one turnover in the game. Proved costly. It was Alan Amici. Kicking. Jarella missed. And he was 1 for 1. So 0 for 1. And 1 for 1 for extra points. Myra, 0 for 1. That was a crucial field goal. That was a crucial field goal we missed. Would have been a tie game. 2 for 2 for extra points. So there it is. But Pittsburgh wins... 17-14 in an epic. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate your time. Thank you to K Fabes, Total NWA, D. Scott Howard, Eddie Ball Game, Captain Carl 8. After further review with Steve Tower, our, our new friend in the chat, Jimmy West, Dave Little, Dale Buckingham, Day, um, John Wise, Rob's Rules, please check out that wonderful, uh, he has like a, uh, he plays some video games, but he, he does a really awesome job, he has like a talk show, it's unbelievable the people he gets on there, it's incredible, thank you, um, let's continue to scroll up, Dave Gardner, thank you, Sports Time Machine, thank you, Captain Carly, I don't know how far it's gonna let me scroll. If I Jim L, thank you. Savoy forty eight, Jackson seven one one two four seven. Celebrity Bikini, aka J Cruz, thank you. Christopher Slovic, thank you. ID Gesture, thank you. If I missed you, I apologize. RF, thank you. I try to get everyone coming in and coming out, and I. I think we got everybody. There you have it. We lost. Great game. Still a lot of fun. Wow. Three epic games with the 58 Colts when we chat. These are our challenge matches. We're going to get back to our 1977 season. We got one game left in week 12. It's a PC versus PC game, which means I don't play the game. I just call it. Jim, uh, we'll, we'll leave with this. Uh, with Jimmy West. Jimmy West. The Wild Wild West. I just thought of that. From all the videos I've seen, Pro Strategy Football produces some very accurate stats, and I love the animation of the plays. Have a good one, Al. I look forward to the next one. Thank you very much. And with that, health and happiness. Stay safe. Be smart. Treat people the way you want to be treated. We all have differences of opinions, and we can discuss them. And again, you can disagree but you don't have to be mean to one another. And there's too much of that right now in the world on all sides of everything. So let's not be like that. And, you know, we falter at that. I know I falter at that too. So God bless. I greatly appreciate your time. Wow. Pittsburgh wins 17-14, last play of the game. So Johnny U goes down to defeat, and that crushes me. I'm a big Johnny Unitas fan. And of course, peace! I love you all. Take care.